Alright guys, welcome back to the channel where today we're going behind the scenes of the latest mocap session for Virtual Basement's The Wrestling Code, featuring none other than your Olympic hero, Kurt Angle. Also today we have confirmation on DDP joining the roster, as not only has he confirmed himself, but he's also shared some new preview images and teased the inclusion of a former WCW star. Before we get into any of that though, if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with all the latest news on the wrestling code, WWE 2K, AEW and all other wrestling games, please do hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on future videos. So it's been a few weeks since we last had an update on the wrestling code, with the previous update taking place when the team joined up with Rob Van Dam to record mocap. Since then, the team have continued their mocap work and even set up base at home where they erected their own wrestling ring courtesy of Monster Rings. Having their own ring set up, this means that they can now invite stars to them rather than travelling the length and breadth of the country with the first star to pay them a visit being independent star Ruckus who becomes the latest star to be confirmed for the game's roster. To give you a look at the ring, here's a behind the scenes clip from the session in which we see Ruckus performing mocap for his apron corkscrew moonsault. Then up, T pose. Following the mocap session with Ruckus, Virtual Basemen set off on their next mocap adventure, this time heading out to Pittsburgh where they met up with WWE Hall of Famer Kurt Angle. Kurt would go on to suit up alongside independent star Tony Cheney, who we also seen perform mocap with RVD, with this footage showing Kurt perform the ankle lock. One interesting note from the footage is that it initially shows Tony tap out shortly after the ankle lock is applied, however rather than stop the animation there, instead the team continue with the animation with Tony going on to reach the ropes where you see him hold them for a few seconds before then being dragged back into the centre of the ring where Angle fully locks in the ankle lock by transitioning to the mat, again causing Tony to tap. The reason the footage contains multiple tap outs is that this animation is going to be cut up into individual segments which they can then program to play the tap out animation if an opponent taps or have them crawl to the ropes if they're able to hang on. By doing this, this saves the team from having to capture multiple versions of the same animation as it can cut this animation up to create various outcomes rather than recording one animation for a tap out, one animation for crawling to the ropes and so on for different outcomes. Following the session with Angle, the team went on to record mocap with high flying independent star for Kid, who we see here performing what I can only imagine will be part of his entrance. After viewing this clip, it's no surprise that he's known as the Neon Ninja as we see him here effortlessly bouncing off the ropes in what should make for a pretty crazy animation in game. As for what's next, the team have revealed that they're off to Philly to film the old ECW arena, however it's unknown what they'll be filming at the arena. Given the amount of former ECW stars that they have on the roster, then they could be there to get a better look at the building, perhaps in an effort to recreate it in game which would make for a pretty awesome arena. Finally for today, if we go back to November of last year, Virtual Baseman put out a tweet teasing the inclusion of Diamond Dallas Page where they tweeted the wrestling code will soon feel the bang. Following that initial teaser, it was assumed that DDP had signed on to appear in the game yet no official announcement was made, however now, nearly 12 months since that initial teaser, DDP appeared on the Mr. Rightway channel where he was asked about his involvement in the PlayStation WCW games. After speaking about WCW, DDP went on to talk about the wrestling code where he confirmed that he will be appearing as a playable character with DDP then going on to share this image previewing his in-game model. 
So DDP becomes the latest big name star to join the project, following in the footsteps of other big name signings like Kurt Angle and Rob Van Dam. After showing off the preview of his own model, DDP went on to reveal this shot of Big Papa Pump Scott Steiner. Steiner, who was previously announced for the game last year, could be seen briefly in the recent promo video featuring Mohammed Hassan, however this is the first time that this image has been shown off publicly. When speaking about other stars who've also signed on to the project, DDP mentioned former WCW star Vampiro, who is someone who has not yet been announced, therefore it looks as though Vampiro could be set to join DDP in the wrestling code. So that's the latest updates that I have on the wrestling code. It's really cool to see Angle back in the ring though. I imagine that was a really cool moment for the likes of Tony Cheney, as he's getting to share the ring with some incredible legends throughout this whole process. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this short look behind the scenes of the wrestling code. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications to stay up to date with all the latest news. Until next time though, thank you so much for watching this video, have yourself an awesome day, and I'll catch you later.